Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Welcome to another edition of Ask John and this question, this question, basically, I'm just going to keep it real simple. In a nutshell, this email that I got, it just simply says that, John, no matter what I do, I keep getting stopped out in the markets. Now, and basically he's asking for help. So let me talk about this. I keep getting stopped out. Um, so let's actually talk about this here. When we are trading the markets, there's actually a couple of different things we can actually do when trading the markets, right? We can obviously trade the way that most people trade, which is directional or non-directional. If you don't know about the non-directional thing, you can check it out on my website. But the thing is this, is that if if you are trading directional, if you are trading directional and you are trading the, the market and, and you're trying to get the right direction and you keep getting stopped out, there's a few things that I think that is really, really, really important for you to understand. The first thing is that I, I think it's I, I think it's important for you to understand is that firstly, when you keep getting stopped out, there's a few things that may be wrong there, especially if you are trading directional. If you're trading the WBS system, which obviously most of you guys are, most of my private clients are, then good. But if you're not, there's a few things that, that that's that's gonna help you with you not getting stopped out as much. The first thing is that do you have enough statistical data behind you, even back testing results, to show you that that directional trading system is actually helping you out? So uh, you you want to you want to make sure, and that's the reason why when I take on a private client, you don't go trading live straight away. No, you go through a process. You go through a system. You go through you go through a process first, and then what happens? Then you move forward, and then you and then after a while, once you've got comfortable with the system and you know, then you start trading live. See, most people just want to buy the course, start trading live, boom, and that is the <laughs> that is the that is the worst thing to do. The absolute worst thing to do. What we need to do is that when we're trading the markets, we need to take it through a process. The process is what's going to help you. The process is what's going to set you free. The, the process is going to help you move forward faster. So if you keep getting stopped out, uh, one, you need, you need, you need. I would say go back and look at your system. Go back and look at look at the way that you're trading, and look at the way that you're actually doing these things. Okay, look at the way that you're actually trading the markets, and the way that you're actually, you know, you're viewing the, you're viewing these charts and stuff like that. Because one. We need to know exactly what we're actually doing to to you know to be trading the markets and to putting advantage on our side. Don't be just trading based on what, what someone else says. No, you do your work, your research. You do the research yourself. You do the work yourself, and then you make sure that you know exactly inside your mind. You know exactly what to do. See, so many people guess. Oh, I went short because this YouTube video said go short. Especially me, right? I've been bearish lately. You are being, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, <laughs> go, I'm, I'm going short because your video said I'm going short. It's like, no, 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 no. Just because I'm bearish in the market doesn't mean you go short. There's a difference between being having a bearish view on the market and having a trading system and rules that says go short, <laughs> right? So. There's actually a lot of different, a uh, lot of different things there. But if you keep getting stopped out, have a look at that. Plus, also you might, you might want to go back to to my one of my latest videos where I did, where um, what one thing that you might be doing is you might be getting in too late. See how the market works is this: is that it'll go through an extended period of run, and then that's when not a lot of people get in. Like right now on the S and P 500 and the Dow, we're just gone through the roof. And this is where a lot of people are going to start piling in. And you watch very soon. We're going to get. We're going to start getting that pullback. It's just bound to happen. We just don't know when. But the thing is this: is that when after the market runs, then most people get in, and then the market pulls back and stops them out. See, most humans, most human beings, they're so scared of making a decision that they want to see evidence. They want to see proof that it's going to work. So then they wait for the market to run, then they get in, and then they get stopped out. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> what happened there? They don't understand that that's it's it's the opposite. It's the opposite thing. You don't once the markets run on, that's the, the trade's done. Okay, the trade is done. So if you are if you are getting stopped out, firstly look at your system, look at your rules, make sure you're hundred percent confident with with your with your actual your the way that you're trading the markets, and then secondly, if you are waiting for the market to run on first then you're getting in, that's that's not the right, whether, whether you're going short or whether you're bullish or bearish, whether, if the market's running down a fair bit and then you get in, that's the wrong time to go short. If, if the market's running up a lot and then you get in, 
that's the wrong time to go short. Now, yes, 20% of the time, if you get in there, the market's going to continue time. Okay, uh, the market's going to continue on. If the market runs up a lot and you get in, uh, this is with any system, really. <laughs> if you get in and you try to get the direction right and you get in and so the market runs up a lot and you get in, 20% of the time, it's going to continue up. 80% of the time, it's going to pull back and stop you out. And that's the reason why confidence happens. And there's a whole bunch of other things, mindset things that get you in and get you stopped out. And it just, it's a tumbling, it's a confidence effect and so on and so forth. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this. See you in the next video. Hey, it's John Hal here. And thanks so much for watching my video. You see, I'm putting out daily videos and education on helping you learning the art of successful trading. So click on the subscribe button to keep up to date with every video I do. Also, check out my story video, $250,000 in debt, cancer, overweight, family passing away, lived on the streets and more, and how I overcome it and, on, and now thriving through my life. This is here to motivate you, so click on that image to watch my video. And lastly, if you're struggling with your trading, then you need to see my latest webinar where I'm sharing with you an amazing strategy that allows you to generate an income without getting the direction right. So click on that image on this page to register for my next free webinar. This is John Howell here. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.